This is Jay from My Town Blog. I'm here interviewing somebody from Winnipeg. Let me get your name. Let me get what you do, another fellow journalist. Todd McDougall, Winnipeg Alternative Media. Uh, we've been running the platform as one of Manitoba's leading sp free speech non-censored uh, platforms for over eight years now. Mm -hmm. um, it's been an incredibly wild ride these past 22 months covering rallies. In fact, uh, I have an interesting history because we are very much like, you know, we know that journalism, especially right now, is super biased. Yep. And we'll admit that we're biased, but we're biased towards free speech, human rights, and, uh, and freedom in general, I guess. So, we are sometimes kind of engaged in activist media. So we were helping host and helping put together rallies in Winnipeg, and I got arrested for doing that. For real? Yes. Tell me the story, man. Uh, well, we were hosting big, big rallies in Winnipeg and all around Manitoba. Yeah. We had Chris Sky come down and, we, and, and, then, and then completely just like, uh, you know, shattered, uh, you know, uh, uh, the public health orders really with having several thousand people down at uh, the Forks downtown Winnipeg. Okay. Public health and the and the, uh, the premier threw an absolute hissy fit uh -huh. and were able to illegally, as far as I'm concerned, get a judge to sign off. And this is one of the first times it's ever happened in Canada, actually. Okay. A judge signed off on an arrest warrant because of breaking public health order. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I got arrested the second time after that for a breach for shopping without a mask. Um, Man, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Bro. State of Canada, right? But yeah. that's why we're all here. Um, and so it's such, such a pleasure to be seeing so much independent media, independent media and any one platform that wants to stand up for free speech and try to be as unedited and uncensored as possible is absolutely the future of media. Mainstream social media is going to try to censor it and try to cut it off, but we start our own. So that's why we have Wham.Live. Uh, you know, you just go to www.wham.live and we need to put in the extra work to make sure that we can stream directly to our own website, no third parties, so that we don't have no censorship. I you know? love it. Yes, we'll stream to social media, but we can get kicked off of that any time. Yes. So we made sure to build our own. Always build your own. Uh, and that's what this last 22 months has really taught us, right? Mm. Build community and build your own. You, gonna, you always need a safety net. Nothing is ever for sure. And especially when you're really building your own business, your own platform, you want you don't want any third parties in the way, especially not when we're talking about the powers that be in this country right now, uh, and, and you know, and anybody who runs uh, social media like Mark Zuckerberg or Twitter, like we we know what they're doing to free speech. We do. So so we build we uh, we build our own, um, and uh, we're, we're entrepreneurs and we become successful on our own, just like I'm sure you're going to be if you keep working your platform as well too. Super kind of you, brother. So keep at it, brother. Keep yeah. at it, and before you man, just keep doing what you're doing here right now, covering this today. Yeah. And uh, you will be waking up people here in Ottawa that want to go explore their free speech and find something better than the crap on CBC and their television. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much. I'm going to plug all your info, and I'll holla at you, man.